This Jacksonville teen arrested because police say she claimed to be a terrorist and threatened to kill students at her school. Now, for the first time only on News 4 Jax, her family is speaking out in her defense. She just got caught up, and his timing is just wrong at this time. But she's a good child. She's really good. 14-year-old Amani Bracey's grandfather also says the Douglas Anderson School of the Arts freshman made a mistake. The teen was arrested last week, charged with making a deadly threat a felony. Police say she did it using the instant messaging app Kick. Joy will show us what that is, but we begin with News 4 Jax investigator Vic Michalucci. He joins us live from Douglas Anderson with what Bracey's grandfather has to say about all this. Vic. Well, the details are very disturbing, but he assured me that his granddaughter is not a bad child and certainly not a dangerous person. He calls this simply a very foolish mistake, one which she is paying the consequences for now. She's real talented. She's a talented young lady. She, uh, she can dance. She can, and she's the uh, most special. She's the artist. She can draw most anything. But Frank Henderson knows all the good things about his granddaughter are overshadowed by this mugshot shown on every news outlet in the area. She's a normal child, and the things that uh, children do, this is what they do. They want to have the number one prank, and pranks sometimes can go in the wrong area. And this is what happened in this case. Police arrested 14-year-old Amani Bracey after a student told them she made threats on the app Kick. Detectives said she wrote that she was a member of ISIS and she was going to shoot up the school, saying she and an unidentified other person had AK-47s and sniper rifles, claiming the attack was going to start in the senior parking lot, then go to the dance hall. Police searched the school and Bracey's home but didn't find anything dangerous. Still, they took her to jail. We'll look at this individually in light of the code of conduct, but also what happened as far as the criminal justice system is concerned, and we'll make a determination if this child should be um, expelled um, or at the minimum, um, most likely transferred to another school. Her neighbors are concerned, but they hope this was just a very bad joke. Yeah, I would like to know what, what made her What made her, her do that? Like, was there any provocation? Was there, did somebody say anything to her? Her grandfather says he is going to make sure she stays out of trouble. She understands that she was she did the wrong thing. She's going to be okay. So she's not dangerous? No, no. <laughs> no. She's not a terrorist? No, she's not a terrorist. No, she don't even know what that is. <laughs> no, she don't know, no. But she's a good kid. And you all are making it clear to her that oh, you yes. can't make these kind of oh, yeah. Oh, statements? Yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah, teaching them. Yeah, we're teaching them. Yes, yes. That this is really something you don't play with. Uh, you don't play with that. And, and the timing is just wrong altogether. And Bracey remained at home today. She has not returned to school, waiting for the superintendent's decision. Now, she is due at the Duval County Courthouse next week to face that felony charge that uh, she is charged with at the moment. Her family hopes the authorities show her mercy for her mistake. Reporting live outside Douglas Anderson on uh, the South Bank, I'm Vic Michalucci, Channel 4, the local station. Vic, did her grandfather claim that she was bullied or did something else lead up to this? I asked him those questions, Mary, and he said no. He did not know of her being bullied. He did not believe that she was having any problems at school. She's a talented girl. She's a smart girl. She's generally a happy girl. He says she was just making a very childish and foolish mistake, but he does not think that anything led up to this and nothing really provoked her. All right, Vic Michalucci reporting to us live. Thank you, Vic.